I've got way too many things open now, but just bear with me, okay? We're going to do um, texture, and I'm going to take the Wacom tablet, and this opened up with a blank layer, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some stuff behind it. Oh, look, we did this, and I like the way it doesn't go all over the face. Let's choose another one here, and let's do this as a texture, which, you know, could be a texture, but it also could be whatever in the heck we wanted. I've got some textures that I put in there that I imported, and I'm using the Sargent brush at a uh, pretty big jitter, if I remember correctly, if I can find that. Uh, 0.85, the stroke jitter, but we could change that jitter to, let's say, I don't know, 2.26 and see what happens. And you get a little bit different jitter. And if you wanted to, let's say you wanted to just go to a color. You could do a color by doing that. And you could also do a color by doing this. And what I did was I switched from texture to this, took the clone source and got rid of the clone. Uh, there we go, put it in clone source. And then it just goes over here. And I think it makes it pretty convenient. I don't know if anybody else will find it worthwhile, but I found it worthwhile.